From FNNO.com, this is the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce, and here's what's in the news for Tuesday, January 29th, 2013. The Wall Street Journal reports U.S. authorities want a settlement of interest rate rigging allegations with Royal Bank of Scotland that will result in a unit of the bank pleading guilty to criminal charges in addition to paying a penalty, sources say. RBS executives are resisting any guilty plea, fearful that it could lead clients to cut off activity with the bank and that it could increase exposure to costly litigation. The Wall Street Journal also reports federal law enforcement authorities conducted a wide-ranging investigation into whether media companies facilitated insider trading on Wall Street by prematurely releasing market-moving government data, sources say. Among the media companies investigated were Bloomberg LP, Thomson Reuters, and the Dow Jones and Company unit of News Corp. Reuters reports Google will lobby Washington this year to make it harder for law enforcement authorities to gain access to emails and other digital messages. Bloomberg reports Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke's latest round of bond buying will reach $1.14 trillion before he ends the program in the first quarter of 2014, according to median estimates in a survey by Bloomberg economists. He'll continue with purchases of $40 billion a month of mortgage bonds and $45 billion a month of treasuries, according to the survey. Finally, Bloomberg also reports the Mexican unit of Walmart stores used a current state governor to facilitate $156,000 in bribes meant to help open stores, an ex-lawyer for the retailer told the company officials in 2005, according to documents released by members of the U.S. Congress. For more financial news and analysis of the business world, follow us on Twitter at FNN Online or check out our website at FNNO.com.